First thing you want to do is pull your plane out of the hangar. You want to make sure you don't pull too fast, otherwise it might take off. Now you got no plane. Alright, so today I'm going to teach you how to fly an airplane. You're stuck at home, quarantined, you can't do anything. Time to learn a new life skill. Learn to fly a plane. I bet I can teach you to fly a plane in like 10 minutes. Really easy. Two things you gotta have in order to fly a plane. iPad and coffee, otherwise you're not going. So that's step one. Get your coffee, get your iPad. This is the coffee, this is the iPad. All right, before we start the plane, we wanna make sure our levers are good. This is the twisty lever, this is the pushy lever. Uh, you don't use these. And then, uh, so you're ready to go ahead and start it up. Now we got the engine started, you see the propellers running, that means we're ready to go. What we're going to do is this, we're going to steer the aircraft where we're going with the steering wheel, uh, left and right, uh, and if the plane's coming at you, they're actually reversed. So we're going to push on the push knob, and then we're going. So we're going to steer, if we want to turn left, it's very simple, just turn left. Straighten it up to go straight. And then we're going to do a right turn. Super duper simple. Alright, you've mastered uh, what they're called uh, level turns. We did not lose or increase altitude just then. Alright, now we're going to do what's called taxiing. I don't know why it's called taxiing. I don't have any passengers and no one's paying me. If you know why it's called taxiing, uh, put a comment in the comment area. Or put a comment somewhere else. I'd like to see that. Alright, so first rule of business is uh, communicating on the radio. Northwest traffic, Grumman 7, Julia Bravo is crossing 1735 at Bravo Northwest. Alright, now you know how to talk on the radio at an uncontrolled field. Alright, the next thing we want to do is called a run up, so we're going to do a run up. And we want to do a MAC check. This is, this is a good time to pause right before you take off. And what you want to do is you want to take a nice good sip of your coffee. All right, this is your next lesson in radio communication at an untowered airport. Northwest traffic, Grumman 8, and 7 Julia Bravo is departing runway 35 via Northwest departure, Northwest traffic. All right, now you're fully versed in communication at a non-towered airport. So what we want to do is we want to take off. In order to take off, we're going to push on the push knob and we're going to pull on the puller. This is the runway, this is where we do the taking off. All right, so I'm going to push on the push knob. Push, 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 push. All right, once you're going full speed, put your heels on the floor. That's the uh, hardest part of this whole thing. Right, you want to look at your gauges. They look good. And once you feel like you're going real fast, like you drive down the highway, we're just going to pull back. Now you know how to take off an airplane. So simple. Now we're in cruise flight. That's it. You just point the nose wherever you want to go. Alright, and now a lesson on talking to the tower. And Jet Tower, Grumman 897, Julia Bravo, 3 miles southwest. Grumman 7, Julia Bravo, runway 35, clear touch and go, left traffic. 35, touch and go, left traffic. Now you know everything you need to know about communicating at a tower airport. So now I'm going to teach you how to land a plane. Really, really easy. Alright, so we see the runway, we want to aim the plane at the runway. Uh, when you're about to hit it, you pull back just a little bit, don't hit it. That's a landing. Those white lines there are called the thousand foot markers. Uh, they're called that because they're a thousand feet long. It doesn't look like it, but that's because we're very high. Alright, now we're going to do the landing. You'll know you've landed when the wheels touch the ground. You'll be able to feel it. It'll feel like you're not flying anymore. It'll feel like you're driving in a car. That's how you'll know you've landed. So I haven't landed, I haven't landed, I haven't landed, haven't landed, haven't landed. This is called floating down the runway. It's a very popular maneuver with students. Then you want to get on the brakes really, really hard so you can slow this plane down. You'll know you're done braking when the plane stops. So you probably noticed the whole time I'm flying, I keep my hand right here on this knob. It's because the plane doesn't have armrests, and this is just, there's nowhere to put it. So that's the best we could do. 
All right, I'm gonna turn, 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 turn. Watch out, birdie. All right. Now we're on the base leg on the ground, and now we're gonna turn downwind on the taxiway. See how that works? Pattern in the sky, pattern on the ground. So now we're downwind for three, five, only we're driving. All right, so now you know how to take off, you know how to land, you know how to talk on the radio at a non-towered airport, and you know how to talk on the radio at a towered airport. Come back next week and I'll show you how we get our instrument rating. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.